A few days ago, I gave my thoughts on the news that was blowing up that reported that Millie Gibson's character Ruby Sunday will be leaving the show during season 15 or season 2, however you were looking at it. Now, when I covered this, it was a rumour, and to be fair, it still is because the BBC and the people working on Doctor Who haven't explicitly come out and said that this is true, but with the on-set photos I'm about to show off, you kind of have to be an idiot to believe that what those articles are reporting is fake. New Doctor Who companion spotted on set after Millie Gibson axed. The new Doctor Who companion has been spotted jumping into action on set after reports that Millie Gibson is leaving the BBC series. On Christmas Day, Millie's character Ruby Sunday made her debut on the show alongside the 15th Doctor, Shooty Gatwa, as the pair faced treacherous and menacing goblins. It's so weird how the Christmas special was all about Ruby and this upcoming season looks to primarily be about her mysterious origins and we are already waiting for this new companion to come in the season afterwards. A trailer for the upcoming 2024 season showed Ruby and the Doctor travelling in the TARDIS, wearing eye-catching 1960s-esque ensembles and going head-to-head -head against a villain played by RuPaul's Drag Race star Jinx Monsoon. However, it was recently claimed that Millie's time on Doctor Who will be short-lived, as Andor star Varada Sethu has joined the cast as a new companion. The Star Wars actress has now been on set wearing a retro yellow dress while running away from some sort of danger hand-in-hand -hand with the Doctor, who was dressed up in a blue suit and pink bow tie. Varada's hair was styled in an elegant updo while she had to grapple with sprinting in white pointy heels. So here we have the photos that the article speaks of and I mean, I can't really say that much about Varada as she is only in a photo, it doesn't speak to her acting abilities or anything like that, but I do have an issue with this photo. 99% of the promo photos for season 14 or season 1 have Shooty in a different costume for each episode and I've criticised that as the Doctor's outfit is sort of essential to each incarnation's identity. Tom Baker you think of his iconic long scarf, McCoy the question mark jumper, Tennant his tight suits, I could go on. Shooty just changing his attire nearly every episode doesn't go over well with me. Now, I don't inherently have anything against Farada joining the show. I hope she is brilliant and you never know, by the end of season 15, she may be one of my favourite companions. However, what I will point out is the reaction to this news from the modern Doctor Who fanbase that comprises mainly of shills that know nothing about the franchise and instead just spout identity politics. Here is what I'm talking about. Now again, in isolation there is nothing wrong with Shooty and Varada, but if you have been paying attention for the last 10 years, you know how the mainstream media operates and how they will continue to operate. If you dare criticise the writing or the performances, which will most likely be the case if the specials or anything to go off, you will be branded all these vile terms from people who cannot accept constructive feedback. Everything has to be an istophobe to them. I am sure there will be much more information to go over in the near future. Perhaps the reason why Millie has left. Was it a mutual agreement between her and the studios, or was there some tension? Who knows, but tell me what you think about this in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.